Hello rising seniors. We will spend a few minutes reviewing the Farmington High School program of studies. As current juniors, you will have several exciting opportunities and options available to you as you begin to select your courses for this upcoming school year. As you enter your final year of high school, we encourage you to consider classes that will both challenge you and prepare you for your future plans. To access Farmington High School's full program of studies, visit the program of studies website. In accordance with Farmington Public Schools' vision of the global citizen, students will choose an intellectually challenging course load throughout high school, which will enable all students to become self-aware individuals, empowered learners, disciplined thinkers, engaged collaborators, and civic-minded contributors, reaching global standards of achievement, leadership, and citizenship upon graduation. As a reminder, in order to graduate from Farmington High School, you will be required to earn a total of 25 credits. On the screen, you will see the breakdown of these 25 credits. You will need to earn nine credits of the humanities bucket. Specifically, you will be required to take four credits of English, which amounts to one total credit of English each year, three and a half credits of social studies, which must include one US history credit, one half credit of civics, either government and law, or AP US government and politics, as well as two or more years of social studies. One credit of fine arts, new media, music, or theater. Lastly, you will be required to earn one half credit in a humanities elective, which is a course beyond those already required above. You will also need to earn a total of nine STEM content area credits. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Specifically, you will need to take three credits of mathematics, three credits of science, which includes at least one life science course, and at least one physical science course. Lastly, you will be required to earn three STEM elective credits, which are courses beyond those already required above. In the physical education and wellness content area, you will be required to earn one credit of physical education activity and one credit of health and wellness education. You will also be required to take at least one credit of a world language and pass the Farmington Language Standards Test, or FLSC. Although only one credit of a world language is required, Farmington High School strongly recommends at least three credits of world language. Students who plan to further their education after high school will benefit from three credits of world language, as many higher education institutions require a minimum of two to three years of a world language. All students are required to earn one Vision of the Global Citizen Exhibition of Learning credit. Students will have two options for completing this requirement. Students may either enroll in an Aspire or Capstone Honors course. Typically, these courses will be taken during your junior or senior year. Lastly, students will be required to earn three additional elective credits in any department beyond the aforementioned requirements to earn the minimum 25 credits for graduation. Students will also be required to meet several performance standards. These include a literacy, mathematics, and science performance standard. Additionally, remember that students need to demonstrate proficiency in world language by successfully completing the Farmington Language Standardized Test. There are several ways students can successfully meet these standards. Please see the attached table below. As a reminder, students should ensure that they are enrolled in a minimum of six and a half credits each year. We encourage all students, parents, and guardians to spend some time familiarizing themselves with the Program of Studies website. You can find the Program of Studies website by navigating to sites.google.com-fpsct.org-fhs Program of Studies, or by visiting the FHS homepage on the fpsct.org website. You can use the Program of Studies to look up courses that you are required to take, electives that you're interested in, and their course descriptions. Next to each course title will be important information such as, is the course a full year or half year course? Is it a college preparation, honors, advanced placement, or dual enrollment course? How many credits can be earned from taking the course? What grade you must be in to take the course? And whether or not there are any prerequisite courses, i.e. a course you must take first. Doing this exploration and research also helps you plan ahead for future course selections. As you begin to select your courses for next year, there are a few important considerations to keep in mind. Course recommendations and core academic areas are provided by your current teachers. 
Teachers take their time in providing their recommendations based on your classroom performance. Should you have questions about your course recommendations, please talk to your teacher. Should you have questions about requesting your courses in PowerSchool, please talk to your school counselor. In addition to your core academic courses, you will also have the opportunity to select a few electives this year. Here at Farmington High School, we want to encourage students to choose elective courses that you find interesting and exciting. When selecting these courses, it is important to consider both your personal and career interests. For example, taking introductory courses here in high school will allow you to explore possible career options as well as provide you with a strong foundation for further education after high school. Teachers are an excellent resource for providing suggestions on additional course sequences for your interests and future plans. Additionally, your individual junior conference, you will review your course selections with your school counselor. We encourage students to enroll in courses that will be challenging while still allowing opportunities for academic success. Student course requests are the first step in building your schedule. Farmington High School prioritizes core academic courses required for graduation before scheduling electives. Please note that your course selection does not guarantee that your first choice elective courses will be in your schedule. To quickly review, there is no traditional senior schedule. However, listed below are common courses requested by a rising senior, noting that all seniors must take one credit of English, half credit, and a senior choice physical education and wellness course, and your half credit civics requirement, if you have not already done so. By visiting our Farmington High School Program of Studies website, you have access to many additional resources to use while researching and selecting your courses for next year, including this year's Program of Studies, course descriptions, course leveling information, college credit opportunities, and career exploration and pathways resources. School counselors also conduct Program of Studies lessons in classrooms throughout January, where students will have the opportunity to learn more about this year's Program of Studies ask questions, and request courses in PowerSchool. What's next? Please review the program of studies, noting that many exciting updates. Please review course recommendations in PowerSchool from your teachers prior to requesting your courses, and contact your teachers with any questions you and or your parents might have. You will receive an email when PowerSchool is open to request courses. Shortly after, school counselors will conduct program studies lessons in classrooms with all students. It is important that you pay close attention to this email in your lesson as Power School is only open for a short period of time and all students must request courses by mid-February. Finally, requested courses along with post-secondary planning discussions will be held during individual junior planning conferences with your school counselor beginning this winter. If you have further questions about the program of studies, graduation requirements, or the course selection process, please speak with your school counselor. If you have any questions about specific courses or the recommendation you received, please contact your teacher. We are here to help. Thank you and best wishes for a great rest of your school year.